Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris Jones. Uh, welcome to the world's worst fishing. And uh, I'm going to tell you a funny story real quick. But first, I got to show you where it happened. Um, so we're going to turn the camera over here. So, so most of you guys are familiar with my uh, setup out here. So here's some of my mold collection. Um, that's that's the majority of it. Um, here's some glitters. You know, so I have powders and glitters on this shelf. I have some colorants up there, some injectors, some bloodlines hanging around. My old Presto pots up there. This table has all kind of good stuff on it from baits that I have still laying around. So these are like some, um, these little Tupperwares have like just, just odds and ends. So there's some, that's basically all scent, extra containers, some of my uh, lure company bags. Let's see, some dead on colorants. I usually keep my fishing poles over here. So I have my plastic buckets down here. Eyeballs kind of go in, in there. Those are the clear molds right there. Vacuum pump, etc. Here's the regular, here's the regular setup. Basically why I'm showing you this is everything runs off of two extension cords. And I had a scary little experience when plugging in. There goes that dang laundry. Okay, so now we're over in the not so glamorous part of the garage. So basically right below my breaker box, I have a couple of outlets here. And that's, and that's where I plug in to run my entire shop. Um, everything I do is run, is run from right there. And it's at kind of the corner of my garage. And so I kind of have to step up to my deep freezer here to get my extension cords to plug them in. And the other day I was doing that and as I was right here, I was like, something's wrong. I looked down and I saw movement. A snake was in the corner here and crawled right across my foot and ran outside and got up under my truck. And let me tell you, it gave me the heebie jeebies. That's one of the bad parts about being in hot, sunny Florida. Now let me show you one of the good parts. Here's the good part. That old big old brim right there. Big old copper head. Nice striped bass. Went stri striper fishing yesterday. We only got one, but it was caught on the six inch angling AI hand pour that we helped develop. And so that was really, really awesome to, to see that happen. So I've actually got a little bit of footage from this trip um so yeah i'll uh, i'll go ahead and dub that in right now as some bonus fishing <laughs> Well guys, couldn't get, the, couldn't get the camera on in time. There it is. That's a little light hitch color. Six inch open pour. And about a, I don't know, six pound striper. Hell yeah. All right, we're gonna be digging into a brand new bucket of swim bait jerk bait blend today. I really, really like the, the feel of this stuff for uh, for crawls and creature baits and things like that. So one thing, one good thing here is that they say mix well, very important. And there you go. You can't make it any more plain than that. So we're gonna break this open and get to work here. Okay, so we're gonna make some flipping baits today, some crawls and creatures in sort of a green and green pumpkin laminate color that I've got in mind. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Lureworks Watermelon and Lureworks Emerald Green. And when you blend those two together, you get an absolutely beautiful shade of green. I call it mean green, <laughs> the, the color that you get from those two. Basically just half and half. And then the other side is going to be my favorite green pumpkin. 
This is MF Manufacturing Dark Watermelon. And we're gonna put a little bit of medium black flake on either side. That's 0 .03 hexagon flake. Uh, so not a, a difficult color um, in terms of uh, formula and, uh, and, and anything like that. But I'm thinking that it's gonna look good now that it's getting hot out bass are getting up under the vegetation it's time to flip a crawl and uh and, and a creature bait so i have the angling ai stinger and then the new punch crawl um the one that uh, terry scroggins helped develop uh with josh so dead on plastic swim bait blend we have our mf and lure works colorants glitter over here is from lure craft i believe um and then yeah, the only thing we're missing is the injector. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cook up the plastic and we'll get started. Speaking of cooking the plastic, we have a new member to the family. Um, so those of you that follow me on Instagram may have seen that my old microwave went kaput. So this is the new one. Okay, here we go. I got them pretty much cooked all the way. So once I uh, add the color, I'll actually put them back in the microwave for a little bit. So anyway... This is a very light, watered down color. Um, it's not very uh, opaque, so you can add a ton of it. Um, and I like how brown it is. It's like green, it's, it's basically like a chameleon watermelon. It looks green one way and brown the other way, and I've never found another pigment like it. It's absolutely my favorite watermelon color, excuse me, green pumpkin. Well, technically it's called dark watermelon, I use it for mainly green pumpkin type applications. So you can see how brown it looks there, but then you pull it out and it's green too. So really, really beautiful. And uh, I could actually have a little bit more. All right. Now for the other side, we're gonna scooch on over. So I like to do this about half and half. You don't have to measure out, but so I'm just going to start with about that and with our watermelon here, shake that up a bit. Okay. Let's see what we get. Yeah. Yeah, still a little chunky down there on the bottom. Definitely need a little bit more time in the microwave. In our new microwave, what should I call him? Nuke? Since it's uh, since since you nuke the plastic, nuke. All right, so we are about ready. I'm just gonna give each cup one kind of final stir. Get the flake nice and suspended. All righty, and let's see how this does. Yeah. Mm. That right there is the punch crawl. I don't think I'll get all of these molds on just one uh, one injector load here. So I may have to uh, may have to refill it again to shoot the rest of the uh, stingers over here. So far I'm liking what I see. You can always kind of get a hint of what it's going to look like by looking at your uh, sprue openings there. Yeah, that's probably the last mold we'll get, which I'm okay with that. All right, now we need to start topping off our openings there. Yeah. Yep, that's about all we had. So... Here's what we're working with, and hopefully this looks good. I've never made this before. All right, drum rudiment called a flam drag. So it's a flam triplet, 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 but with a flam, which is when you hit two at once. So flam, 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 triplet, triplet. But then we're gonna put a diddle in the middle. For uh, anyone out there who plays drums, you'll know exactly what that was all about. Oh. Plastic's done over there. Let's get these out. 
Let's see how they did. Well, it's very green, if you uh, didn't already know. Hey, that's kind of cool. So, I can already tell I need the pumpkin side thicker because the green is kind of taking over. You can see the pumpkin side, but it's, it's not there enough. Okay, all right, I know what to do on the next run. Let's see, let's look at, let's look at the uh, stingers here and see how they did. All right. It's always fun doing a new color. You know, I, I have not practiced this. I've never made it before. Yeah, still, you can't really tell that there's a entire green pumpkin side. So definitely going to thicken that up quite a bit. Okay, so we're going to add a lot more of this watermelon. We need a lot more from what I could tell. We're just going to load it up, you guys. Boom. That was a ton. So, yeah. Go ahead and mix that in. So you can see there on the side of the cup, kind of where the new layer is and the old layer the new layer is obviously much thicker um, so now i'm just gonna let it yep that's got a lot more beef to it i think we're gonna try that yeah all right i'll meet you back when i have them done let's see hopefully this did better come on dang it there we go. Oh, yes. That is what we wanted to see. Now that the pumpkin side is thick enough, you can see it's actually blending with the green down there in the extremities. Yeah. Well, you know what? Dang. Now it's almost too dark, the whole thing. I'm having a time with this one, you guys. Hmm. Yeah, it, it looks really good from the pumpkin side. But now it's not dark enough, or it's, it's not green enough from the green side. That just looks too dark. Man, I'm gonna have to troubleshoot this again. Maybe start all over. Oh, sorry about that. All right, so we've started over and I mixed up the same exact watermelon um, but we're gonna do the green a little bit different. So we're gonna start with what we had with the watermelon and the emerald green, but we're gonna add a much brighter green to it to try to offset how dark the watermelon um, turned it. So if you'll notice on that last shot, um, the watermelon was so dark that it basically darkened up the green. So to try to offset that, we're gonna lighten up the green. And we're going to attempt that with this right there. So we're basically going to make the green a lot lighter green than we think that we need to um, with the idea of uh, offsetting the darkness of the watermelon. Which, so far, that's not as green as I want it. So we're going to keep adding more. Hopefully it brightens up. Yeah, it's definitely brightening up. It's also thickening up, so you have to, yeah, that's very thick. That, that's a little more of the color I want, but is it too thick now, you know? That's the, uh, that's the danger. I'm gonna go ahead and add some black flake and just see if I like that. All right, we're just gonna do one run over here with the um, uh, AI punch crawl. Oh, spilled a little bit. My apologies. Hopefully these still work. <laughs> okay. Hold a little bit of pressure. Yeah, so let's take a look here. So if I look at the sprue opening there, those both look pretty even. One's not dominating the other, so... 
Hopefully this will be our best run yet. I really want to get this color right. Okay, so there's that run, and that is really close, you guys. I think the green is a little bit too thick. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. That's, that's much closer to what I had in mind. So I've got them kind of laid out to where you can see um, some from the green pumpkin side, others from the green side. So there is one up close. Hmm. That is really close to what I wanted. But I like it, so we're going to make some more. All right, so we're going to do some more here. And, uh, yeah, I added some more black flake to the green side, which I think will, will uh, make it look a, a little more dynamic here. So we're going to do another run of the AI Punch Crawl right here. Um, so we're only going to do one of those so that I can get all three of my Stinger molds over here. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think if the green was just slightly more transparent, not quite as thick, um, then this would be kind of exactly what I had envisioned. It is really close, though. I'm really happy with it, actually. It does look really good. This is one of those colors that you can make pretty much in any style bait, and it's going to look good. I mean, imagine this in a finesse worm. Be killer, right? And yeah, I mean, this would be a great frog color, of course. Um, obviously, I think it works well in creatures here, crawls, things like that. Um, it's kind of one of those that seems like, like it would work in, in pretty much any setting. So, yeah, I just, I, I kind of was thinking about that today. And I was like, I want to see if I can do it. All right, let's look, take a look at these stingers. Oh yeah, I tell you, it looks real good in the stinger. Yeah, that's killer. Yeah, what do you guys think? I think it looks real good in the stinger. All right, and there is our final run of baits right there. So we're going to get these out, and um, we're going to lay everything out and take a look. So we're going to kind of compare and contrast them with the um, earlier runs that I was not um, completely satisfied with. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed today. Okay, so you might recognize that from the thumbnail. Um, so there is the final runs. And I really love the way that the colors interact. I mean, laminates, you've heard me say this a hundred times, where the laminate magic to me is is in the extremities and thin parts of the bait to where you have a marriage of the two colors and they really start to blend together, which is actually more apparent oop, over here in the earlier runs. And these are still great. There's just not as much, um, there's just not near the amount of contrast. So if we just get two together, you know, that's, that's the contrast there. So there it is from that, from the watermelon side. There they are from the green side. And then most importantly from the side side. <laughs> you know, just the contrast is there. Take a look at the claw sections. You know, the, the, the claws might be a little prettier on the one that's more see-through because you get a little bit more blending of the colors. Um, but overall, I'd have to say this is uh, the one that I would buy if the two were hanging on the shelves in the store. Okay, everybody. Well, that's going to wrap this video up. Uh, stay safe out there. I hope everybody is doing well during this uh, virus. And um, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch the video. Please shoot me some comments down below. I'm curious to see if you liked the final run or the earlier I don't want to say fail run, but the um, the ones that I didn't, um, well, you know what I'm saying. Did you like the first set of baits um, or the final set of baits? So, curious, uh, man, I slept on my neck wrong, golly. But anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like these baits that you saw today, I'll probably make a post on Instagram, putting them up for sale, just all of them, the 
first run plus the second run. It's one big bag of stuff. Um, or I might split them up. So um, be on the lookout there if you're interested in grabbing those. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. And um, please shoot me some comments about what other types of content you want to see. And um, that's much appreciated. So I'm going to quit babbling. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. And we'll catch you next time.